So it's me again for some more super scientific uh, H pump testing, H pop testing. Um, I rigged up a old welding gauge, goes up to 400 psi. Don't have anything higher than that. Um, old fitting, old STC fitting, welded onto some kind of other fitting, welded to the attached to other fitting, attached to other fitting. There's a small leak, which is okay, because I believe that's how it's going to relieve a bit of pressure uh, and not deadhead the pump. Um, <clears throat> IPR as the air fitting inside. Uh, this is just a valve in case this one release. So uh, uh, before I take it off, I'm going to bleed off the pressure from there. Uh, it might be leaking a little tad, but not too much. Um, and there's oil in this, uh, in this, uh, what do you call it again? Uh, Oh, there's oil in it. There you go. Okay, so I numbered the wheel once again because uh, the old number is starting to get off, um, rub off. And uh, what I'm suspecting is either my pump is bad or it's a, a two-stage pump because uh, what we're going to see on the gauge is as I turn the wheel, I'm going to try to get an angle. Uh, let's see. There we go. If I go like this. Uh, there we go. Okay, uh, no, not the best. Let me see if I can maybe turn this gauge. Mm, yeah, okay, turn it a bit more. Uh, might get some better views out of it. There we go. Okay, so as I turn the wheel, and I think it's, I clocked it here. It doesn't mean anything. I'm not sure where the references are. Uh, but as I turn the wheel, um, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, uh, get the gauge to come to about 100 PSI and then wait for it to come back down. It does bleed back down. Does that mean the check valves are bad? I have no idea. Uh, and then as I turn the wheel, uh, I could see between there's two rotations where um, uh, it's going to go to a higher pressure. And there's uh, two other rotations, well, quarter rotations anyways, where it's going to build up a lower pressure. Okay. So if I start off, let's say, let me see start off on number one okay um as i bring it to yeah so turn it and uh, counterclockwise it comes from one two three okay so uh, counterclockwise facing the gear uh so okay so two okay no pressure three goes up four okay back to one and it goes up right here all right so I'm going to wait until it bleeds off because you can see there's a leaking oil. So it ble it's bleeding off. And then I'm going to repeat the test as it, is one as it hits 100 and try to go again. Why 100? It could have been 50, but I figured 100 is already uh, somewhat of a baseline pressure to see if the gauge is going to go up or not. So between, let's say, one and two. See, not a whole lot of pressure. Maybe like uh, just um, under 100 PSI uh, uh, jump. Now between two and three, it's going to go back up to 400 PSI or past 500 PSI. Well, it should anyways. Okay, so it maxes out the gauge. And then between three and four, it's still going to do like a 50 or 100 um, PSI jump. It won't do the, the full pressure. So my guess is that uh, either um, one, cylinder, uh, one cylinder fills up the other and the other one compresses to a higher pressure. Does this mean the pump is bad? No idea. Just uh, felt like taking a video and see what it does. All right, so back to 100. See, just under 100 PSI drop. 
uh, increase, I mean, and between four to one, it's going to jump back up and max out the gauge again. If it works something like a compressor, it would kind of make sense. Uh, a, a lower volume pump, um, a higher volume pump, lower pressure, and then a higher pressure, uh, a lower volume cylinder, but a higher pressure. But again, I have no idea. So between one and two small increase, two and three big increase, three and four small increase, four and one big increase. If I don't wait until it bleeds down, it becomes uh, increasingly harder to turn. So that's why I wait until it bleeds down, just so I could get somewhat of a reference. So I'm going to go again real quick. I won't necessarily wait until it reaches 100. One and two, supposed to be small increase. All right. Two and three, it's going to max out the gauge. Three and four, small increase. I'm going to try to 200 to see if it brings it up to 300. It was very hard to turn. At the end of the getting there's 300. And between four and one should be a big increase. So maxing out the gauge once again, I'm going to wait until it falls back down to uh, about 120 something PSI. And it was harder to turn coming back down. So uh, what does this mean? I have no idea. I just uh, decided to do some testing. Um, consumes a bill of oil, of course, because it's leaking down. And uh, well, it's not 100% sealed. That's why, again, it's, I'm guessing it's bleeding down because if not, I have no idea where the oil is, is going. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's coming back up into the reservoir as I turn the pump. Actually, let me see if it does. Draws down a bit. So that's what it is. Thanks for watching.